Raj Thakre will not be contesting Lok Sabha elections. Unconditional support to Prime Minister Narendra Modi is what he said. Raj Thakre says, for one year, I was approached by Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde. I was approached by Devendra Fadavis and therefore I called up Amit Shah and met him. I did not want to get into the seat distribution row. I said no to joining anyone. I did not want to compromise my party symbol. I have earned this symbol. I don't want Lok Sabha, Raj Sabha or MLC. I give my unconditional support to Prime Minister Narendra Modi. All workers should get prepared for state assembly elections, is what Raj Thakre said in the state. Devendra Ji, Pandvis, Eknath 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 Ji, 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 अरे बाग तेज़ चलते हैं सारे विषय निकाले मम्मी अमित शान ना फोन केला मतलब माला जरा बैठा है तो तुम्हारे एक काय माला साले माला समझते नहीं है एक दा आपले शिव बोलूँ माला काय नक्की हैं सब मंडने तो माला इधर कड़ा कड़ी लो पाई जे माम सब बोलना जाले दिकड़े मग इतिहाले और ते हम से दोगा त फक्त नरेंद्र मोदी साथी बिन शर्त पाठिंबा देता है हे व्यास अपने समोर सगाई समोर जाहिर करतो विद्या इस गेटिंग आस मोर डिटेल्स इन द बिग स्टोरी राइट नाउ विद्या एसेंशियली दिस मींस दैट द एमएनएस इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी इन फैक्ट टेकिंग पार्ट इन द लोकसभा इलेक्शंस also the indication that in principle they're offering support to the Bharatiya Janta Party. So what does this mean really for MNS when it comes to the Lok Sabha elections? They're absolutely not then choosing to contest these elections, is it? Uh, well, Sneha, if you look at this entire dynamics mm. of Maharashtra, MNS, though trying its best to make its presence felt in the last many years, uh, it hasn't really made its mark. Uh, if you look at the right. civic body elections or even the assembly elections, Maharaj in uh, the MNS hasn't really been doing well. So Lok Sabha elections, contesting a Lok Sabha elections would mean a lot of uh, uh, manpower usage, a lot of uh, monetary supplies, which at, at this current moment, uh, the party really does not have. So it's not really putting forward its best foot forward for Lok Sabha because it knows its limitations at this juncture. It is already, as Raj Thakre said, preparing for the assembly elections, which was far important right now because in the assembly elections, if it is able to make its mark, unlike the last time around, then it will certainly be called as a regional party with a lot of presence uh, across Maharashtra. But at this juncture, uh, you know, contesting the Lok Sabha elections would certainly uh, not be feasible for MNS. And that's one of the mm -hmm. reasons why the party has decided not to go for it. But its voters will, you know, it has... It, told its voters that it, since it's supporting the BJP and uh, the Eknath Shinde government here with uh, Ajit Pawa, the NCP, uh, well, uh, they should be voting for it. Uh, so it's in clear terms, it's asking, the Raj Thakri is asking his voters to vote for the Maha Yuti, but it's all in, in its organizational structure, it is preparing for assembly elections and trying to make sure that at least this time around, it makes a mark, which it has not really been done, able to do in the last many years. Okay, I'm going to thank you for the moment for getting us up to speed with those details, Vidya, with the inside track of what's brewing as far as the equation between the BJP and the MNS here is concerned.